Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour. And again, I'm so humbled, glad, and blessed that I am able to come and share prayer, this intercession prayer. And for all of my prayer partners who touch and agree with me. And um, I will start with scripture. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come to you in prayer. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins, who was buried and who rose from the dead with all power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus, more. And we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer, to be with us, to guide our thought, our walk, our talk, Father God, so that when people see us or hear us, they see and hear a reflection of you. Oh, Heavenly Father, your word says when two or more gathered in your name that you be in the midst. So I thank you for my prayer partners who have lifted up this prayer, who intercede, who also pray, who come to you, Father God, like your word says that if we ask in your name that we can come to you in prayer, we know that you can answer. We just pray that you will answer our prayers, Father God. Oh, we ask that you partner some of our sins, those we commit intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed, Father God. My prayer partners, Minister Allen, my brother, um, Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, they are Wednesday prayer call. My home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call, the Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, the Allen Family, the Wonderful Women of God, um, Prayer Chronicles as well as the grateful prayer line, Heavenly Father. Oh, I bless your holy name. I thank you for everyone who is interceding, everyone who's standing in the gap, everyone who's praying out to you, calling out to you, Father God, for, for we need you. We know that we can't do it without you, Father God. We need your strength. We pray for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, Father God. We pray for those who need a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. We pray for our church leaders, um, especially my home church. Um, Senior Pastor Greg Foster II and um, First Lady Amy and Father God and their family, we pray a covering, Father God, that for people who are evangelizing your word, sharing your word, teaching your word, preaching your word, Father God, greeting those with your word, Father God, for a time such as this, we all need to be stirred up to come together to show love and to show kindness. Oh, Father God, we in this season of lamentation, Father God, that so much is going on, Father God, we, we pray for all those affected by gun trauma just um this with a couple of days ago they celebrated and, and I can't say celebrate but they they memorialized they had the anniversary memorializing the three that young lives that was um shot down at Michigan State University um a, um a year ago and then father god we also pray for um, the youth in the metropolitan Detroit area who um, someone rented a hotel for a, a, a group of youths and, and one was shot and consequently died on yesterday, Father God. We lift up their family. We lift up um, the their communities, their schools, Father God. We, we know that Gun violence is so traumatic and in all those who are triggered with e emotions and, and remembrance of, of all of the shootings, Father God, we never want it to be normal. We never want it to be normal. And we know that this is not what you want for our society, Father God. So for those who can speak up, Father God, I pray that they will speak up, that we come together and, and we reclaim our families, Father God, that we can come together and pray out to you to learn on your word um as valentine's just um passed by that man celebrate father god that we can really take the true meaning of loving our neighbor of loving each other of loving the community father god having love for you and um you demonstrated love father god 
So I pray, I plead your precious blood, Father God, for peace in this world, Father God. But in the meantime, Father God, I pray for everyone and their families who are serving in the military, who are away from their families. I pray for those who are on the midnight shift, law enforcement, firefighters, transportation, those who are working in the medical field, in the hospitals, Father God. We need you, Father God. We need a touch from you, Father God. Things have gone so array, and your word said that things would be all uh, as, as that we are seeing, but Father God, Again, your word says that we can call out to you, that we can pray to you, and that you will draw near to us, that we can cast our cares out to you. And we thank you for that, Father God. And for some people, Father God, it's a time of celebration, you know, celebrating new life, new relationships, Father God, um, thanking you for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us, Father God. We thank you. We thank you for keeping us, for holding us, for healing us, for helping us. And we thank you that we can come in prayer, Father God. So um, my prayer focus for the week and thank you for all those who have reached out to me, who, who share prayer. And, and we pray for the Bland family who will be memorialized, funeralized this week, Father God. We pray for everyone else who has to walk that last mile, Father God. We know that you would be with them. And, and I, I thank you for conviction and correction, Father God, for those who love me, who 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 come by to show that that they love me and and want me to do good want to share this prayer father god want want our who are cheerleaders father god for the good things that you're doing in my life despite 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 the roadblocks father god oh we thank you and we bless your holy name and i testify that if you've done it for me if you kept me if you're keeping me for to tell someone to hold on little sister kendall i know you hear me out there um again my family have a lot of birthdays so for everyone who's having a birthday i I pray and celebrate you, especially I cannot forget my baby girl who will be celebrating her birthday. So I'm just so grateful for um, this time, this season. And um, Earl Curitan, he was uh, memorialized and he left the legacy. He did things for the community and I'm so grateful. And may someone be encouraged to do that, that when you have an opportunity to affect a positive change, to build a legacy, not just of money, but to be able to do something for the community that you came up in. Father God, I, I, I thank you for that. And may someone be encouraged. So um, if I forgot anything, charge it to my head and not my heart. Um, I pray that if you don't know Jesus and the pardoning of your sins, for you to just accept him and tell him, Jesus, I want you in my life. You know, try him for yourself. You will not turn back. You know, life may not be easy, but it will be good if you just hold on to God because we have that God. We have a God who loves us. We have a God who can forgive us, but we have to come to him. And it's nothing that, that you can say or do that you cannot go to God. So while you still have breath in your body and time on the clock, Make God your personal savior. Come to him. Oh, and he will, your life would never be the same. It would never be the same. So I thank you for um, this platform to share prayer. And I ask that you reach out and share this prayer with someone that you pray. If you need uh, have a prayer request, you need a prayer partner, reach out to me. We're all to be connected. And you see me wearing um, my yellow ribbon for all of those who are away in the military and those still missing. We will, yes, we will lift you up and we will continue to keep 
um, you on our mind and on our heart and in our prayer. So yes, we, we thank God. So we were left in peace. So I too will say peace in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen.